Here we go in the costumes. First, let's check out the wigs. Look at all these cool wigs. So many. All right, let's see over here. What they got? All ties, and purses, and accessory stuff. Cool. Let's go into the main costume spot. Look at all these hats. Hats everywhere. Cover your head in 10 different ways. <laughs> more hats. Oh, there's more hats over here too. What we got back here? Let's take a look. Oh, wow. All kinds of buttons and frills and frills. <laughs> That's dressing room. Uh oh. No photography allowed in dressing rooms. Guess we're about to go somewhere else. All kinds of fabric. Oh, this is gonna be a dancing studio. We had so much fun doing dance during the teen conservatory. We got a whole area now for dancing. Pretty cool. Oh, hello! Hey, Dougie, how are you? I'm good, Rebecca, how are you? I'm doing fine. So tell me what you do here. I try to keep the costumes organized. I dress people for all of the shows they're in. And, um, do the wash for donations. Oh, wow. That's important stuff. Yes, it is. You make costumes for people, too? We do, and I usually have a crew that helps me, which is lots of fun. That's great. I'm gonna keep looking around. Go right ahead. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Go around the back here. Oh, this is the green room. Green room is where the actors hang out between their scenes. This is the makeup area. That's where you can put on your makeup, and make you look like a monster, or animals, and all kinds of cool stuff. So many costumes. Costumes over here, and costumes over here. Wow, so many, all kinds of stuff. You can dress up as a sailor, or a princess, or all kind of like Santa Claus, <laughs> and dresses for all the ladies. So many things. Can we go down this aisle? Let's try this one. Wow, so many more. All right, well now we're getting out of costumes, kind of, into the classroom. It's where we have summer camp sometimes, build props. All those storage things have all kinds of cool craft supplies. Foam and felt and fabrics and all kinds of cool stuff. I say kind of out of costumes because the overflow of costumes is here too. High tech stuff. Careful. Costumes overflow. Costumes and costumes and costumes. Neat. All kinds of capes and robes. Soft. Oh no! It's got dirty. Bunny rabbit! Hey, bunny. You could be a bear, or a wolf, or a cow. Ooh, tiger. All the sound equipment, when it's not being used, has this little storage space in there. It's kind of dark though, I don't want to go in there. And then here's kind of another classroom or meeting room. The board of directors meets in here sometimes. And the orchestra, when there's a live pit for a musical, they'll perform in here and get popped into the main room. Pretty cool. That's a big table. Order, order, ha ha. More costume stuff. Need some shoes. So many shoes. Go. Coming out on the catwalk now. Goes around the theater. Oh. Oh, there's a spotlight working. Hey, Kate. Just practicing your spotlighting, huh? Okay. Hi. Well, let's see what else is up here. Up here is where they run all the lights and sound and video during the show. So the stage manager. It's kind of like the bottle. Sits up here and tells people when to hit the light cues and the sound cues for each show. Pretty cool. Wow. He's not here again. Where the heck is he? Before I let 
let y'all go, I'm going to issue a new dream challenge. This one is called Riders Unblocked. There are strange times and things can get pretty scary. But that's a great time to get creative and look at things in a whole different way. The challenge is this. Write a short story, play, a skit, or even just a loose idea that uses masks and Zoom style video chatting in a way that doesn't have to do anything with a pandemic or any other kind of medical needs. So what's that mean? Well, here's an example. It's the year 2525, and one 11-year-old is alone in a new world. His only communication is through floating screens and a strange telepathic wolf. Hey, I'm as surprised as you. How will he survive, and what adventures await? Ducky Omega! Well, that helps get the creative juices flowing for ya! Here's the details of the challenge. You have until October 28th to submit your story. This challenge is open to all ages. The winner will get their idea developed into a production of some kind. That could be a video for YouTube here on our channel, a live performance outside on our outdoor stage, or a live performance inside our theater. It all depends on what works best for the winning story. The winning story will be read in a live stream on October 31st. To submit your story, or if you have any questions, please visit dreamrats.org and send us an email. Get writing, and good luck, my friends.